Hi friends, good morning, this is Abhishek from TechVirus and in this video I'll be doing the unboxing and review of new Xbox One S controller. Yes, now you can use this controller with your Windows 10 PC without using any additional driver or any adapter. You just have to have the Bluetooth and you are ready to go. And here on the box you can see that they have mentioned that it also includes Bluetooth for gaming on Windows 10 device. And on the other side you can see that Bluetooth use requires Windows 10. Means if you want to use this controller you have to have Windows 10. Otherwise you need to have adapter. Alright now let me unbox this device and show you like what all things are there inside. Okay so as soon as you open the box you will see there are two things. Battery as well as the Xbox One S controller. Now let me check if we have anything else in the box. Yes, we have two documents here. One is the user manual. This will help you to connect your Xbox controller with the Xbox as well as PC. And the second document is about the warranty and other stuff. Let me keep this aside and show you the controller. All right, now you can see that this is the new Xbox controller. And in front we have a micro USB input where you can connect the cable and play it using wires. And this is the battery port. And this is the expansion port and the 3.5 mm audio headset jack. Now here you can see that this is quite similar to the old Xbox controller but they have said like they have improved a lot on the control, the performance of the buttons and the joystick. Alright now let me show you like how you can install these two cells in your controller. So this is very simple. These are like two normal AA cells and you will get easily in any of your local store when these gets over and please remember these are not rechargeable cells and you have to throw them away once the battery is down all right now i put the cells inside the controller and let me check if controller is working i have to just keep this x button pressed for few seconds and it will start glowing this means the battery is good enough to start this controller. Now the second step is to connect this controller to my PC and here you can see that this is my gaming PC and it has Bluetooth inbuilt and you can connect to any of your laptop also like which has Bluetooth. I think most of the laptop has Bluetooth inbuilt and you have to just press this X button and it will start glowing and then what you have to do you have to press the top small button so this will make the Bluetooth inside this controller discoverable and then you have to keep it like close to your PC not too far and then go to start and click on settings button here and then go to devices inside the devices there are two options uh, connect device and Bluetooth so sometimes people get confused that they have to go to connect devices and then click on add devices and then it will connect your controller but no this is not the right process See, I'll show you like when I click on add devices, it will populate other devices, but it will not show your Xbox controller because this is a Bluetooth device and it will not come here. So you don't have to wait here. You just have to cancel this and go back or you can directly go into Bluetooth. So on the left hand side, I'll go to Bluetooth, switch on your Bluetooth and then here you will see that it will search Xbox wireless controller and click on connect. It will take few seconds to connect. So just wait. Sometime it takes more to pair. Once it is connected, the blinking light on the Xbox controller will go off and it will be stayed like it will not blink. The light will be glowing continuously. So that means like this controller is connected to this PC. Now in add device still it will show that other devices but it will not show your Xbox controller. It will just show in the Bluetooth that this particular controller is connected. Now to test this quickly like if my uh, Bluetooth controller or the Xbox one s controller is working go to xbox application and then you just use the joystick up and down and it will change all the menus and other things all right now let me show you the gaming uh, how is the gaming performance of this uh, bluetooth controller xbox one s bluetooth controller here you can see that once the games load it will automatically switch from your keyboard to your controller here you can see that it says press a instead of press enter because it has detected that the Xbox One X controller is connected to this PC. Now, let me skip the loading part and show you how is the gaming performance using this controller on PC which is connected via Bluetooth. Alright, let me start the game and show you like how is the uh, performance. Do we have any lag while using this controller without any wire using Bluetooth? Alright, so now you can see that I have press the uh, lower right button to accelerate and left hand side you can see that I'm using joystick to move it left and right so I can tell you that the control is very precise there is zero lag when you are controlling the game it will feel like you are playing 
on Xbox like it is uh, giving you that much of precision uh, as much as you get from keyboard on PC so this controller is really best thing for your PC to use this controller you just have to enable Bluetooth and that's it it will automatically connect so here you have seen I have not used any Bluetooth driver adapter anything this is just my new Xbox One S controller and the PC now let me tell you one more thing that there are lots of old controllers available on Amazon which does not support Windows 10 or Bluetooth connectivity so please make sure to use the link which is given in the description to buy this product because you might get confused with other product which is available online alright friends so this was my complete review for Xbox One S controller I hope you liked it if you have any question related to this controller if the controller is not connecting please let me know in the comments I'll reply to it and don't forget to subscribe this channel because you might win iPhone 7 when this channel reaches 50,000 subscriber till then have a nice day bye bye